Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for sticking with us. It is, it's late, but we have some more football because we, we said we had 12 games, so we got to come through. You yep. have the next highlight, San Diego. Tell me about that. Yeah, they've had a great year so far. The Vaquettos, uh, big run last year, longest run in school history. They're the top team right now in our large school rankings, but uh, maybe spoiler, Refurio beating Edna. Oh, hey, football is football, okay. and it's still non-district. Okay, Too it early is non-district, but here, San Diego looking like they were going to score. Instead, it's fumbled. The Bears get it, and Ooh. it's a touchback. So, hey, they keep the Vaquettos off the board, but these two teams didn't keep each other off the board much tonight. I'll show you, I'll explain <laughs> in a second. Uh, West Oso's Elijah Huff with a big game there. He had a big game against John Paul last week. Then here, Huff again. He's going to cut through the Vaquettos like a hot oh. knife through butter. Ah, oh, you said it. I did. Guess and you know what? That's mind. not even his best touchdown of the game. We're going to uh. get to that in a second. That made it 14-7 West Oso. But here, San Diego, they're not going to fumble this one. The pass to Colton Garcia and Hagan down the sidelines. Ties it up on the big blue turf, 14 all. That is a nice field. It Golly. is. It is. Beautiful. It's very uh, Boise State-ish. Here. Yeah, very blue. The quarterback <laughs> keeper for San Diego, RJ Valerio. The Vaquettos taking the lead at 20 to 14. The extra point, though, no good. Now we get a couple of play of the week nominees back to back here. San Diego's Fabian Vidal here is going to get it and he's going to come right at the blitz camera. Get off me. Woo. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that magnet. Let's go. Like a moth to a flame. Yay. Made it 28 14 after the two point conversion. Here you go. Another play of the week nominee, Elijah Huff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, say it. Say the line, Chris. Say that the line. Gone. Oh, the other one, my tortilla. Hot knife through butter. Oh, yeah, Come but I, on. I had already said it, though. I had already said it. But you said that. <sighs> lame to I'm repeat sure it. folks at home to, know exactly what I'm talking to about. 20. San Diego, look at the pass down to the one with four seconds left, but he's Ooh. out of bounds. So the Vaquettos have a chance to add to the lead. Might as well run it. You only got one play anyway. And Might as well. There you go, in for the score. Ooh. So they go up, and they go on to win the Vaquettos 62 to 53. Oh, oh my Lord. Over 111 <laughs> points tonight 115 points combined look at tonight. you showing off your math like I that tried. look at you go on all right next game we have the santa maria cougars over in aguadusa up against the longhorns aguadusa longhorns mascot feeling it feeling just happy to be there protected from the mosquitoes anyway santa maria with the short pass to number four who takes it all the way to the one yard line i believe let's take a look at that because I, there we go, yep, yep, right there, right, you can see the goal line right there, but he makes it just as far as the one yard line. Then Cougars number nine finishes the job number, well, actually Santa Maria gets that first uh, touchdown, seven yep. zip, Santa Maria on top, then Cougars again with the touchdown pass, but, and there is a big but, <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. I like it. Called back for holding. I will do say, couldn't get it going on offense. Let's take a look at that final. 46-14, wow. Santa Maria would get that done tonight. Well, Maybe next time. Maybe yeah. next week, Longhorns. Going to be a good trip back to the Valley for the Cougars. All right, how about Ooh. Pepperonville? They, too, have been kind of struggling this year. 0-2 oh, to start the year, taking on Carrizo Springs. And here the Wildcats already up. And now they go up two scores on the touchdown, made it 13-0. She's like, come on, guys, let's get it going. Oh, I need something go. to cheer for. Exactly. Right Jose Garcia, they are the big first down. The Longhorns in business. But uh, uh, is there a big one? No! Yeah, yeah, it is a big butt. Guys, ah! Carrizo Springs. Oh no. With uh. the interception keeping the Longhorns out of the end zone. Yeah, oh. man, it's been a rough year that so like far a, for I, Hebronville. I Let's take that. a look. They would eventually go up three scores. 31-18. Hebronville now 0-3 on the year. Golly, I like felt that sigh that that coach had. Anyway, moving down, we have the Freer in. Bruni game opening drive of the second half tied at seven, but not for long. James Utley on the screen pass. Aiden Moreno gets a block. He's in for about the 10 yards out ensuing drive after moving the ball down the field. Bruni up the middle. Andrew Alanis trucking a defender through running from 16 yards point after touchdown. No good 14 to 13. The Buckaroos look to have found something on offense moving the ball right through the field. White right through RJ Garcia's run. Freer finds Pater. 
Layton Forth, a chance to put this one away. Sure. Utley on the yes, Utley on the carry this time, <laughs> keeping it to himself, and he's in for six more. Let's take a look at that final. Freer would get it done tonight. 29-19. Let's go, Buckaroos. Buckaroos get it done Woo. over the Bruni Badgers. Okay, we got through all 12. 12 highlights. Gosh, it seems like <laughs> we blink opening, and now this is like, well, we're not done. We're not we're done not. yet. We're, we're not. not. We still got play of the week to but award 12. on the other side of the break. And hey, we have the Mathis and Taft bands yeah. for the marching scoreboard. Little, little hybrid Franken band. Yeah. So there's a whole situation with my batteries, whatever. But you're going to get two in one, all in one night. Anyway, so we made the Frankenstein of the scoreboard. We hope you guys enjoy it because it's not too bad, if I do say so myself. Let's go ahead and roll that.